this is one of those key examples of where an auto assessment is wrong. This is if you're married out of community. Oh, sorry, let's start that again. If you are married in community of property, this is probably one of the easiest areas in which your tax, taxable income calculation can be incorrect. Is because if you're married in community of property, remember, you can be taxed on any passive income earned by the unit as a couple. So the correct treatment in this particular scenario would have been to go and say, no, hang on, we actually need to get the husband's tax return reversed because 50% of that rental income belongs to him. Because remember, in community of property, unless it's an asset specifically scoped out of the joint estate, the earnings are shared 50-50 between the husband and wife or between the two spouses. So just because a property is technically in my spouse's name, if we're married in community of property, legally it's viewed as jointly ours. So my tax return would be incorrect. And yes, you would have to go and fix a portion of hubby's tax return. Now, please also, this is the point at which I really do want to make a genuine broader point in the sense that we do need to be very careful with our individual tax returns because remember that just because a tax return went through doesn't mean a tax return is right. If I have an individual who's married in community of property with someone else and I put the full rental in my return and none in the other return and it gets accepted by SARS, doesn't mean that it's technically correct. It just means that they didn't pick up the discrepancy this time around. So please don't rely on the fact that a return went through as it being correct.